why 34 years later do the 86 Mets still resonate so much and so well? And don't tell me it's because the Mets haven't won a World Series since, because I think it's deeper than that, is it not? I think it's deeper than that, but I don't think it's as complex as you would say. I think <laughs> the fact that they haven't won in 34 years is a huge deal. Any franchise that has a last championship over three decades ago, everybody's going to look nostalgically on that team in particular. But like you say, that's just the tip of the iceberg. The group of personalities on that 86 team was legendary. So brash, um, so many incredible stories that have come out over the years. And beyond that, one of the things that I've talked about numerous times on this show is how I think sports, at the end of the day, all come down to moments, moments that live on forever. And that game six, Mookie Wilson, uh, <laughs> you know, behind the bag gets through Buckner and the Mets win it. That's one of the most unlikely wins in sports history. And so all of that combines to just make that team resonate for years and years and years after the championship year. Yeah, I, I, I see in that group a fascinating group of individuals or a cast of characters in the public's imagination that is really unique. You have guys who we've all been for, really fortunate to get the chance to know a bunch of them. But like I've been, I've, I've been a Tudo Fresco in Port St. Lucie later than I should be with like Keith Ojeda, um, Ron, uh, Wally Backman. I mean, these guys are really interesting. They still have this deep bond. Like the, when Keith walks into a room and like Backman and Ojeda are there, they look at him like he's still this God. It's like, hey, Max, it's like this. I think the public can sense the love that they have for each other. I saw them all on a darker note, just sobbing at Gary Carter's funeral years ago. They, like, they love each other. They kind of hate each other in some ways, too. There's these deep relationships. And that's what's so fascinating, I think, is the, is the characters themselves. The one thing that – everything you guys said I love, and I would highlight all of that. The only thing I would add is that, look, they were just relatable. I mean, the fact that they played as hard as they did. They played harder than any other team. I mean, they, they were dirty. They were everything you wanted to watch, everything you wanted to see. And all that went into the personality that you saw – off this off screen and all the all the stories that we hear and talking to these guys and you love that stuff and to fans that was just relatable